Hey guys, it's Richie. I'm here at Impact Challenge Exhibition Hall for Bangkok Auto Salon 2024. The show has some of Thailand's best car builds and even some that were shipped in from Japan. So let's go look around the show and see what we can find. Like this Pandem RX-8. This thing is awesome. It's got a really cool Red Bull livery on it and a wide body kit. But this is actually a Thai car from Infinite Motorsports. Here's a really cool FD RX-7. They've got the wheels off of it. So you can see the big endless brake kit and the Olin suspension, I believe, since it's got Olin's flags around it. It is kind of funny though, because it's sitting here on display, but there's handprints all over it. I'm guessing all these handprints are from models posing on it. That's a cool looking car though. Wow, this Mercedes race car replica is awesome. I don't think this is actually a race car. I feel like I've seen a video on it before where it's just like for show but it looks super cool. He's got a, a bolt-in cage inside of it, and he left his Starbucks in the cup holder. It's one, uh, one thing that makes me not think it's a real race car. Well, next to that Mercedes is this really cool Veilside R33 GTR. I love the graphics on this. Like, it's not all in your face. Like, it's very clean looking. Next to the R33, we got this awesome RX-7, first generation. The, oh, it says uh, Savannah RX-7 on it. It's got some nice wheels. I like these spoilers that they had for these cars. I used to have one of these, but it was a white one, and it did not have a turbo on it. It was not a GTU. I just had a base model, but they're really fun. Here's one of the cars that was from last year's Tokyo Auto Salon. It's the Veilside 400Z. This thing looks really awesome. I like the student driver sticker right there. What the hell is this? Failside 4509 GTR? This is a GTR? They made it look like a kind of a Bentley thing. It looks really, really interesting. This is one of the cars from Japan that I wanted to see. This is a NC Miata with a 13B turbo rotary swap in it. He's got a big front mount intercooler over here. They've got this real different looking body kit on it. I don't know who makes it. Wow, look at this RX-7. I don't know what, what engine is in it, but there's a big air filter sticking out of the hood. The body kit is interesting on it. It's got this fin thing going on right here and on the back. And it's got like a cage in it, kind of. Like a bolt-in cage, the harness bar. This thing looks awesome. Here's another infinite car. It's this awesome SW20 MR2. This crazy wide body kit on it. I'm guessing this is a Pandem kit because it's from Infinite. And they always seem to have this style where it's like a bolted on kit. Man, this thing is wild looking. Oh, the, the intercooler is in there. So they got the oil cooler right here. Got a big diffuser on it. Canards everywhere. This thing is sweet. I never had a SW20, but I had an AW11 MR2, and that thing was so fun. I kind of miss it. Whoa, look at this Jimny. This thing is awesome. I like the graphics on the side. It's got a rooftop tent. Let's go look at the back. Even though it's a little car, you still need a, a ladder to get into the tent. Oh, and it's got a, a big awning. This thing is really cool. I love these cars. Wow, look at this S2000. I think I've actually seen this car before at a Honda Fest. This thing looks so cool. I like the wheels on it. They're kind of a uh, turbine style. I like the hard top on it. It's like carbon fiber and it's got this little spoiler there. Okay, we got the sexy car wash. car wash. Everything has to be so loud. Like why? Why is it so fucking loud? Here's a relatively rare car here. The CRX. I don't really see these very often. Look, it's got little Hoosiers on there on the back. It's got a K swap with a big turbo. Of course, one of their max speeding rods turbos. This is pretty cool. I actually saw one of these on Facebook the other day and it was about $30,000. I like CRXs, but not that much. <laughs> oh, this Evo 6 looks really cool. 
It doesn't hurt that we have a cute model. If Ronald McDonald drove a Ferrari, I think it would be this one. Like I get it's kind of the color of the badge, but it, it kind of looks ridiculous. Wow, this is one of the craziest trucks I've ever seen. It's a Mitsubishi Triton. It's got a clear hood, has some big blower. I have no idea what engine is in this. Is it a diesel? Yeah, it's a diesel. You can see the hard lines in the rail down there, but it's also got a turbo. It's got this insane wide body kit on it. It's slammed, so it's got to be on air ride. It's got a big brake kit. Extreminator. <laughs> That's what it says on the caliper, Extreminator. Carbon fiber doors. Tons of carbon fiber in the interior. Like, look at the, the door cards and the handle. I like all the, the dimple die stuff right here. Carbon fiber nitrous tanks. More carbon fiber seats. It's like the whole interior. Titanium grab handles. This is all carbon fiber in this crazy weave. I like to have the, the red kind of mixed in there too. It's got a big spoiler with what looks like active aero. Look, there's this looks like it puts it up. Maybe it just does it for braking, but man, that's crazy. On a clear tailgate, more nitrous tanks in the back. Oh, there's the, the air ride tank. The only thing they didn't do was put the radiator in the back, which is surprising. Where is this from? So this, I think this is the Malaysian flag. So they must have brought it over here because there are a few cars here from Malaysia. Look at this Lamborghini with the Hulk wrap on it. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at this, a Mugen. I think this is an HRV. What's the point of that? Here's a EF patch and they have a, a Mugen engine in it. It's just a B-series. This thing looks really nice. I used to have one of these, but it was a pile of crap. But I got it for like 900 bucks. All right, we're over at the race cars. So I guess let's start with the, the trucks. We got these cool two rally trucks over here. These are both the Zuzus. These look really awesome. Roll cages and safety nets and stuff. Got their spare tires back there. This looks super cool. I like this Liquamali one. This is a pretty cool livery. Oh, the Singha drift car is awesome. I like the carbon fiber and gold color scheme with the two different gold colors. That looks really nice. I wonder if this is actually a Sephiro. I'd bet that it is with a different body kit. There's the fuel tank. Here's a Honda Civic from the Thailand Super Turbo Series. I haven't seen any of these race, but this thing looks awesome. I'll have to find like the racing series online. It's nice having a little window in here so I can look in the interior. You can see the turbo right in there. That's pretty cool. Right here we have a Honda City from the Honda One Make race. These are a really cheap race car here for like a new car that you can take racing in a spec series. I think I saw them at like 30,000 or 35,000 for a race ready car. That's a really good deal for a brand new race car. Here's a Toyota diesel drag truck that they got the big turbo with the horn on there that they put a a ball in there to keep everything out when they're not using it. It's got a really nice turbo manifold. One thing that's kind of weird I just spotted. So there's there's all the injector hard lines, but they have this one port blocked off. Like that's for a, a five cylinder engine. I wonder if that's like off a Ford or something. It's got a, adapters on it. Then the intake goes inside. I'm sure they have a liquid to air intercooler in there. This thing looks sweet. Oh, I like the, the Tiger on the side. This has to be a pretty fast truck. I would expect that it does like eights or low nines. Here we have another drift car. It's a R34 or R33 styled one, but I'm sure this is also a Sephiro. Especially being from the Drive to Drift team, they run all Sephiros over there, as far as I know. All right, look at this Formula car. GT20 one. That's hilarious. But the I don't know what series this is for, or if it's for any series and someone just built it just for fun. I don't recognize it. It's not like a super formula from Japan. Apparently it's made by humans. Look, and it says Garage Toy 21 here, but they spelled it wrong on the on the spoilers. Like it says GT 21 right there. 
And right there with the marble, can you see what engine's in there? Seems like a V8 or a V6. That's real interesting. Here we have Benz's uh, Lego Civic again. He seems to be at every single car show that I go to. And they always do like the backfiring competitions and shooting flames out of there. And here's the PlayStation car. And apparently they've made uh, Lego guys for, for all the cars. This one's still got a D-Series in it. Benz's car has a K24 or K20 maybe. Here's the Dragon Ball car. I didn't get to see this in my last video, but I'd like to see it doing backfires out of the exhaust with the Goku on the hood like that. It's so cool. Also rocking a D-Series still. I definitely like this one, but I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, so. And they also have a Kirby car, which I haven't seen this one before. It's a nice touch, the teardrop uh, exhaust on there. It's also got a wide body kit. Wow, look at this awesome diesel dragster. This thing is really cool. It's got this huge compound turbo setup. What engine is this? Oh, it looks like a 4JJ in it. So that's the Isuzu 3 liter engine. I would assume that this thing is stroked to like 3.1 or 3.5 or something. They've got a water to air intercooler right there and the tank for the ice water that they pump through it. And it's also got a nitrous, two parachutes, gigantic Hoosier tires. And they also have the uh, Liberty air shifted transmission here. But then look at all the solenoids for the nitrous going straight into the intake piping. Here's a row of D-Maxes. Wow, look at this one. I like all the orange anodized aluminum parts on it. This is kind of a weird double intercooler. They must have not had a, a thick core and just used what they had. Oh, this D-Max is cool. Looks like it's got the 1.9 liter in it, but it's got a billet intake manifold that looks like it's two pieces and a, a billet uh, valve cover. It's just billet stuff everywhere. And they anodize a lot of stuff. They got a lot of uh, titanium pipe work here too. It's crazy how much work they do on these trucks. And of course they got nitrous tanks in the back. They got titanium pipe work going on. Like for the tailgate, they got a big tailgate stiffener. I don't know why you would need that. It's a body on frame. <laughs> it seems like even though it's titanium, you're just adding weight. Uh, I really like the blue on this one. Damn, look how big that turbo is. This is another 1.9 liter engine. The massive turbo. Oh, actually two turbos. There's a little one hiding down there. So it's a compound setup. And he has no tailgate. There's no big stiffener bars across here. But he's got a huge radiator mounted in the back and a nitrous bottle. Oh, and an uh, air ride system. Wow, look at this BMW 1600. This thing looks really cool. I mean, it's got fake patina on it, but I think they did a pretty good job. Oh, it looks like it's from uh, Moon Eyes. They're a shop here in Bangkok. They do a lot of classic cars, but they do a lot of like American cars. Here's an interesting D-Max build. Look at this twin turbo setup it's got. Like it's got these, this weird twin intercooler thing, but it's got these two turbos. Where is this one piped from? What the fuck? Yeah, this is a weird engine. Like this turbo has a port coming through here, but it like goes through the head over here and comes out and there's the exhaust manifold. That's really strange. I've never seen anything like that, especially not on one of these engines because the intake manifold is right there. I have no idea what's going on with this. <laughs> it's crazy. It looks really cool though. Like I like how they painted everything purple and they did all the purple bluing on the titanium pipes. It looks really cool. Well, and they have like these spark plugs in there and it looks like some injector thing so they can shoot flames out of it. Oh, look at this. ECU shop has their EV converted EG hatch. It says it's got three motors with 250 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. I'm not sure how much 600 newton meters of torque is, but I'll do the conversion and put it on the screen right now. This car looks really nice though. It's got carbon fiber seats in the front, like the carbon fiber wing on it too. Here's another rare car, a GR Yaris, and they've got it done up like a WRC car. Uh, it's not really a WRC car. There's no roll cage in it, but they put uh, Evans and Martin's names on there. And it looks awesome. Here's the Toyota booth and they've got a Champ over here. Well, let's go check out this one. This Toyota Champ looks awesome. I like the front mount intercooler placement carbon fiber hood. It's got some really neat wheels on it. And look, he's got the nitrous tanks in the back and the radiator back there like a lot of the other trucks. This thing is sweet. I just noticed on these things, I've seen them a bunch of times, but the door handle's right here 
and the edge of the door is like on the back of the cab. Usually you have like the strip here and the door would be like right here. It's kind of weird. One really cool thing about these trucks is how cheap they are in this country. Like they just started making them and they start out around 13,500, somewhere in there for the gasoline engine, but then they're around 15,500 for the bigger diesel engine. There's two gas engines. You can get manual transmission or automatics and those are different prices. And then you have the diesel with uh, automatic or manual transmission and those are also different prices. But in, And there's all sorts of different configurations you can do with these trucks too. Like you can build this race truck and you have them or like this one right here. Both of these have like the normal tray but you can get all sorts of different configurations for the bed. The only thing that they don't have and maybe they'll do it in the future is make a four-wheel drive package. They don't have that yet so they're all two-wheel drive. I think that might be the only downside of them right now but that also probably keeps them pretty cheap, not having the complexity of a four wheel drive. That would probably add a couple thousand dollars, I would think. But yeah, really cool trucks. I would like to get one, but that probably won't happen for quite a while. But look at this Celica that they have set up for the next sexy car wash. This thing looks really nice. It's another GTR. It's from Top Secret Japan. It's pretty cool. You got this Mark IV Supra. This thing is super nice. I like the wide body kit on it. Here's a car I didn't expect to like that came from Japan, a wide body Prius. It's from Cool Racing. This thing looks awesome. I never thought I would say a Prius looks awesome, but I'm doing it now. Man, it looks so much cooler than, I mean, none of the other ones looked cool. This one actually looks cool. I would drive it. They didn't put a big brake kit on it though. What the hell? Everything else at the show has a big brake kit, except for this. Hey, look at this weird Porsche. It's actually, <laughs> an FD RX-7 with a weird body kit on it. And it's already Super G, so that might have given away that it's an RX-7. Look at this on the back. I don't know what this looks like. It doesn't look like a Porsche. Maybe like a, a Jaguar, something like that. That's weird. I don't know why you would make your RX-7 look like that when it's already a beautiful car. Wow, look at this Mark IV Supra. It's got T37s on it. It's got a cool wide body kit. I haven't seen this one before. This thing looks really cool. Okay, I just spotted one of my favorite K cars, a Honda S660. These things are super cool. Look, and this one's a Spoon S660. So he's got Spoon Sports wheels, brakes, the sticker there. What does this say? Number one, Honda Spoon, Spoon Complete Car. That's cool. I mean, it's got a Spoon steering wheel, shifter, all sorts of things on this. And these Honda S660s are really expensive here. I talked to a lady that imports these uh, about a year and a half ago, and they're about $80,000. I think in Japan when they're new, they're like around 18,000 or something, something around there, because it's a K car, it's gotta be cheap. And for a K car, this was already expensive. But then importing them over here, they're really expensive. I'm not that sure why they have the 300% tax on these cars, because they have a small engine and they were cheap in Japan but that's just how it turned out at least from what the lady told me and she's imported several of them but this is a very special one being a spoon car right behind the spoon uh, s660 is a Jimny that's made up like a defender that's really cool and look at this thing look it's got a little snorkel there it's got a cool roof rack it has a big bumper it's got some chunky tires but it's still like kind of stock height it looks good I think this would be a really good car to drive around in Bangkok with some of the bad roads that we have here. Oh, this is actually a Jimny Sierra. So it has like the bigger fender flares where the K Jimny wouldn't have this because it, it exceeds the, the width of the K limit. And it'll also have the bigger engine, I believe. Usually it's got like a 1.5 or a 1.3 liter. So that also kicks it out of the K specs. This truck here is insane. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser, but I don't know if you notice, it's extremely wide because they cut it in half and widened the body. That's pretty crazy. Let's take a look at this thing. It's got a massive bumper and winch, but I think my friend Paul was uh, showing me pictures of this thing when he went to the shop that built this. It looks so crazy. Like this is wider than a Humvee. Look how massive the tires are. It's wide enough to put two rooftop tents on it. And they're not full-size ones, but it's still insane. We've got a pink G-Wagon over here. This thing's kind of cool. Is it a Brabus one? Of course it's a Brabus one. 
crazy expensive if it's a real one. I see so many Brabus ones that I'm not convinced that any of them are real. Here's something really neat. This thing is like the Thai Hummer. It's so weird looking. <laughs> I think it, it's like a Toyota chassis or they use a Toyota engine or something. But I've seen these things rocking around Bangkok a few times. Oh well, wow. I just realized that there's a bunch of cars outside in the back of the exhibition hall. I didn't even know there was parking out here. So let's go walk around. This is like a kind of a regular car show part. Got GTRs, got a Supra. There's a cool car, 300ZX. Oh, look at this Impreza. I used to have a coupe of one of these, but mine was not an STI like this one. Oh, this is cool, old Toyota Soarer. I thought it was a, a Skyline for a second. Oh wow, look at this Sephiro. I like this teal color, and they like painted the entire engine bay and everything. It's still the still using the RB engine. Most of these have been swapped to a JZ of some sort. It's got a really cool exhaust manifold. I haven't seen a, a ram horn for a six cylinder before, which is kind of surprising now that I think about it. Uh, look at this little beat up Daihatsu Mira pickup. This thing has seen some better days. I saw it from across the parking lot and I thought it was going to be cool, but it seems like a total nugget. Wow, I almost missed a Jimny. How could that happen? Look at this thing. It's like a little uh, Land Cruiser. This is really cool. Life is Jimny. I think that's right. Wow, look at this Civic. I think this might be the most insane Civic I've ever seen. Look, it's got a B series, but look at this header. A four into one, and it just goes straight out the hood. So they have a hole cut in it. You got a plexiglass thing there. It's got this huge splitter. It's got a wide body kit. Looks like all of it's out of carbon fiber. It's got a really nice blue color to it. For how much work went into this cage, it's kind of weird that it's a bolt-in cage. But the cage comes outside of the hatch to support this insane spoiler. Like the wing is almost wider than the car. Or it is wider than the car, look at that. Crazy. So here's a couple of Vail side cars. We got a Mark IV Supra and an S13. These things look awesome. I'm not sure which one I like better. They're both so clean looking. I think maybe the Supra, but I don't know. I like both of them. Oh wow, look at this purple Hilux. This thing looks awesome. It's got all this titanium pipework on it that they also blued it until it was purple. That looks super nice. I don't know how they blew it and then still get the silver welds on it. I don't know if they chemical clean the bluing off. I'll have to find out. Here's Lightning McQueen from a shop called PS Modified here in Thailand. This is actually a Toyota Celica. I believe it's a fourth generation, but it's a really cool build. Well, that was Bangkok Auto Salon 2024. Leave me a comment of what your favorite car was. Like the video and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Uh -huh.